Some big news came out today about a potential future electric pickup truck. It's called the Rivian R1T. And here is everything we know about this truck. And it promises some crazy insane specifications and performance figures. And this information we got today in a press release from Rivian. This is unconfirmed by us or other magazines. This is the specs they released. And you gotta check this out because some of these performance figures are insane. I'm gonna be sharing some of what I'm doing on the screen here as I look at the truck and showing you some of the specifications. But let's just start with the power figures off the bat and then go a little bit deeper. Uh, Rivian says this truck has four electric motors, total horsepower is 750, and total torque output is over 10,000 pound-feet. Yep, this truck that fits somewhere between a mid-size and a full-size has more torque than but what, four big semi-trucks? And listen to this, they claiming with a bigger battery, this truck could go about 400 miles on a single charge, zero to 60 in three seconds, zero to 100 miles an hour in under seven seconds, this is according to them. And water fording depth, what they call wading depth, is about three feet or one meter. Jeez. Uh, let's look at the dimensions first because we need to figure out exactly, if built, where this truck would fit. And Rivian says that production will begin in 2020. And they're based in Michigan, in Plymouth, Michigan. And they have reportedly over 500 people working on this truck and also an SUV project. Um, so this is, uh, looks like to be a very viable company and they purchased an old Mitsubishi plant in Normal, Illinois and they're looking to start investing more money into the production of this particular pickup truck. So let's look at the dimensions first. Uh, wheelbase 121 inches, full length is about 215 inches uh, width about 79 inches. So what does this all mean? And by the way, they they showing a lot of their measurements in millimeters and liters and meters. So I converted all these figures for you guys. Uh, this means that it's just a little bit bigger than a Tacoma Crew Cab, but still not as big as a full half-ton truck like a Ford F-150. The wheelbase of 121 inches for a Crew Cab is comparable to a midsize. The width is somewhere in the middle between a mid-size and a full-size truck. 79 inches is actually a fairly wide platform. And um, total length of 215, well, a Tacoma is about 212 inches with a short bed um, and about 225 inches with a longer bed. So that's kind of the dimensions of this truck. But here's another crazy number. Uh, maximum ground clearance of over 14 inches, 14.17 inches if you convert it. Uh, a mid-size truck like a Colorado, Chevy Colorado or a Tacoma uh, would have about eight to nine inches of ground clearance. This is over 14. So this promises to be a fairly good off-road vehicle because it has a lot of clearance. And they list approach and departure angles here, 34 degrees approach, 30 departure and 26 breakover. Those are really excellent numbers, especially for the departure angle as well, because usually mid-size trucks and full-size trucks have a really poor departure angle where you scrape your hitch going over uh, different hills. And Rivian has many people working on this, specifically Mark Vinnels from McLaren is a chief engineer and the leader of the engineering team for this truck. Uh, Jeff Hamoud, uh, who used to be at Jeep Design, is leading the design um, of this R1T Rivian pickup truck. So they have some uh, people with a lot of experience working on this in terms of performance and design. And if the truck re has a little bit of Jeep in it, maybe that's why, because Jeff is coming from the Jeep Grand Cherokee program where he used to work. On the inside, the Rivian R1T looks to be a regular truck, but it has a very unique dashboard combining two screens and Rivian says 
that it will have improved navigation, infotainment, and connectivity. Obviously, all those things are required for a modern pickup truck, including 360-degree cameras, navigation, and Wi-Fi connectivity. Riven did not specifically mention all the details, but the interior looks to have a lot of soft touch materials in combination with wood and metal trim, and the floor of the truck is flat, especially in the back, with seating for five. This brings up another question about safety. What about the airbags and all of the crash safety requirements required by the United States government? How will Rivian R1T fare in all of the crash testing? We'll have to wait and see. Although Rivian did reveal the payload and towing specifications for this truck, they did not communicate gross combined weight rating or the gross vehicle weight rating. Other startup companies such as Bollinger with their B1 SUV and the B2 truck are using the gross vehicle weight to circumvent some of the safety requirements. If a truck has a GVWR of over 10,000 pounds, it does not have to comply with every passenger car or passenger truck safety regulations. We'll have to wait and see how this pans out, but with the payload of just over 1,700 pounds, it appears that the Rivian truck will have to deal with all those safety regulations. This truck is promising some unique features. For example, in the bed, there is a 110 volt outlet for charging. Okay, that makes sense for an electric truck. It has an air compressor port. Okay, that's nice if you're thinking about overlanding and going off-road. Also, something they call gear guard that's able to lock the vehicle, which is interesting, and that's kind of a new concept about actually securing your gear. Inside the bed floor, there's a spare tire, something similar to what Honda Ridgeline does with the trunk inside the bed and then the tire there, but it's not the great concept for a truck because if you have the bed fully loaded, uh, by the way, payload, Rivian promises to be about uh, or just over 1,700 pounds of payload, uh, which is a good number, and a crazy amount of towing. They're promising over 11,000 pounds of maximum towing. But this um, spare tire inside the bed, well, what if it's loaded completely? How do you get to your spare tire? But quad drive, obviously they have four motors, so that it's full four-wheel drive capability. They have something called the gear tunnel, that's just behind the cab inside the bed and that has about 12.6 cubic feet of total volume so it's not a huge space but it's a lockable space and I really like this concept actually to see something this uh, like this built into a truck also have a flexible crossbar system for the bed so you could mount stuff on top of your bed or even move those racks to top of the roof of the truck now, when is it going to be available? Rivian says they're going to start production in 2020 with the maximum battery capacity for the maximum range. The biggest battery that's going to be available, they say, is 180 kilowatt hours. That's almost double what Tesla currently offers in their maximum battery, which is 100 kilowatt. 180 kilowatt hours is a huge amount of storage, electrical storage capacity. And the whole chassis is kind of like a skateboard where you have the batteries in the floor of the vehicle and the motors and the wheels obviously on the outside. Um, so, and it also has a frunk, a front trunk with a total volume of there of 11.6 cubic feet. So not a huge tr a space up front, but still a space there as well. The starting price will be $61,500 for the smaller battery size which is 135 kilowatt hours which is still a huge amount of battery space and this is after tax rebates they didn't say exactly what the tax rebate will be charging times they're saying on a dc fast charger about 20 minutes of charge will give you at least 100 miles of range so the charging times are viable and outpace what's available now for an electric vehicle but it still feels to be attainable We'll see if this truck will actually make production and I mean, I hope so because I think this is a cool concept. I just, I just can't believe some of these numbers. Let me know what you think. Go back to tfltruck.com for my news, views and real world truck reviews.